Today I'm going to go through the process of designing a part in Fusion 360, exporting it to Cura 2.7, and printing it out in nylon. So stick with me. Hey guys, after the last video I made, someone in the comments mentioned that somebody might play with the uh, exposed outlets on uh, near my bumper, those DINs connectors, uh, the female end. So uh, I was wanting to make some, find some kind of a dust cover or plug for them and uh, I went looking online and there's, there's nothing. There's really nothing. You can't buy dust covers for those things. So I decided to uh, design some in Fusion 360 and print them out in nylon and uh, that's what's printing out right now in this printer. So I'm going to go through the process with you. Stick around. One of my viewers brought up a pretty good point about um, you know people being able to tamper with these and I think I wanted to make some dust plugs for them anyway to keep the you know the mud out of them. So we're going to take some measurements here. And we're going to design us a little plug that twists in there. It might even have an O-ring on it. Now we're going to measure the plug on the trailer, see what kind of tolerances we're dealing with here, but I don't think, I really don't think they're all that tight on these plugs. And we're not even trying to make electrical contact. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. This is a, um, this is a dust cover for the DINs outlet on uh, my trailer cover. This will actually work on any welder that uses a DINs 10-25 size uh, connector also. Um, I might actually start selling these. Um, nobody sells these things. I've looked online to see if there was even a CAD file for them. There was nothing for a dust cover for those. So uh, th this basically just screws right into the DINs connector. And here's a tab and then there's going to be, there's, you can hang a little chain on this and connect, you know, hang it off your welder or hang it off, in my case, I'm going to hang it off the, uh, the bracket off uh, on the, the back bumper of my truck. And this is an O-ring groove and I have the O-ring here. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys that in a second. Pretty cool. The things you can do with a 3D printer. So I'm gonna print these in nylon. Let's get to it. Okay, so I just imported the part into Cura 2.7. I gotta go through my settings here for, for nylon. I gotta print this with supports. I don't see any other way to do it. First, we gotta duplicate this part. Multiply selected model. Okay, there we go. All right, now all those settings look good. All those settings look good. We're gonna do infill 50% on this. Lines is fine for the infill. 245 has been working okay with this E Sun nylon. We're gonna leave that alone. Let's see here, retraction, 0.5 millimeter, that's good. I'm running an E3D V6 on this, so I don't use much retraction at all. Speed, 60 millimeters a second. We can, uh, we can up this wall speed to 60. 
Let's see here. Supports. All right, we want supports. I generally use 65% overhang angle. That's for the radiuses. Support pattern zigzag, support density, support line distance. There's a there's a uh, there's a setting on here because when I print supports with nylon, man, it, they're really hard to remove, and I'm trying to figure out which z distance support top distance point one. Let's from the top of the support to the print. Well, let's change this. I think I'm going to change it to point two. Uh, we'll leave it at point one for the bottom. Build plate adhesion, we're going to use a brim. All right, well, I think we're ready to go here. Now, the beautiful thing about this with Cura 2.7 is I can export this right to Octoprint. See right here? Hit print with Octoprint, boom. Now I'm gonna show you. Let me drag this window over here. And there it is. Let's see, it's warming up the bed now. I'll get back to you guys once this thing starts printing. So here's what the print looks like when it comes out of the printer. I got to cut all these supports out of there. All these supports here and this is what it looks lo like after I cleaned it up and installed the o-ring. It doesn't really take that long to clean it up. I printed it this way. You know in hindsight maybe I should have printed it standing this way. That's okay. I might even print another set to see if they come out better printed the other way. Okay, so here's the part with the uh, O-ring installed. It didn't um, print out the little locking tab so well. Um, I might have to reprint this, but let's see if it fits in there and it stays in there because uh, it might be just good enough for what we need to do. Open up this garage door. My truck's parked right outside here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it holds in there. That holds in there quite nicely, actually. Look at that. What's left to do is we're going to put a little chain from here to here. Drill a little hole in here for just a retainer to hold it. Oh, this is awesome. Cool. Well, that was a fun little project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. You can subscribe right over here. You can watch some of my other videos over here. Thanks for watching.